Welcome to this video. There is uh, now a very interesting uh, weather situation. It, it looks like there is a convergence where two air masses come to each other and then uh, you find lift somewhere. We do not have that very often here. I think I'm going to explore that. Before we start, I want to make a short abstract of what the convergence is and how it develops. First of all, there are many different types of convergences. I explained, for example, the evening convergence in one of my latest videos. You can find the link over here. Generally speaking, a convergence is a lifting mechanism that results where two different air masses moving in opposite directions towards each other meet. At the boundary line, the air is forced to ascend. According to my personal experience, the most noticeable visual cue for a convergence line is the difference in height of the cloud base. With no clouds present, a convergence zone is sometimes marked by a difference in visibility across it. One well-known form of convergence is the sea breeze. It develops at coastal regions during daytime when cooler air from oceans move landward. It meets a warmer air mass over ground causing lift at the boundary line. Other forms of convergences develop in the vicinity of orographic obstacles such as mountain ranges. At rare occasions, such a convergence can also be found near my home airfield. It lies in the heart of Europe, so neither in the vicinity of a mountain range nor next to the sea. That leads to my personal impression that here in our region convergences can be easily overlooked. But on that day, where the following clips were made, I realized it was one of those rare occasions. Luckily, I had my camera with me. Join me now on my flight using convergence lift. Yeah, the convergence can clearly be seen. We have uh, to the left here um, a lower cloud base and here to the right a higher cloud base. And it, that's a typical sign of, of uh, convergence. When two air masses come together and uh, the air is forced to lift up. So on the left hand side there is a, um, an air mass which is more humid so when it's being forced to ascend then the cloud base or the clouds develop sooner by means of altitude. And on the right hand side, we have got uh, air mass which is drier. This leads uh, to this uh, step in the, in the cloud base. And there you can see it very clearly. Haha, <laughs> cool. The very cool thing on the convergence is that you can fly with a glider straight ahead. The lift is not always continuously. But in total, glider pilots can often gain altitude or at least keep the altitude. It is like a highway in the sky. The strategy is to fly on the side of drier air, so under the higher cloud base. This leads to exceptional views for us glider pilots. We are able to fly besides the clouds instead of below them, which would be normally the case in thermal conditions. Such convergences can lead to dozens of kilometers of flying without circling. Like on that day, it was real fun flying along the clouds. Moreover, some days later, again a convergence formed, very close to the area of the last one. And again, I was lucky to be on the right time at the right place and could fly more than 100 km straight ahead. In this case, it appears that the small mountain ridge which I was following has something to do with the forming of the convergence. It developed directly along it. On that day I was flying an even less performance glider, but I could reach a higher altitude and was able to fly even longer straight ahead as it had been at the previous flight. I would say the last convergence before those two times is already several years ago. So look out for those energy lines, they probably can occur more often than you think. If you want to see more of my videos, I would recommend that you watch this one next.